Well, tomorrow, a class at St. Mary's University will mark a dark chapter in America's history. It was the day that President Franklin Roosevelt signed the order in 1942, which led to the internment of millions of German, Italian and Japanese Americans during World War II. Many of them at a camp in Crystal City, just southwest of San Antonio. Jesse DeGoriato tells us why those history students are asking you to join them in tomorrow's National Day of Remembrance. The United States Department of Justice was responsible for the detention and supervision of all civilian alien enemies. Finally closed three years after Germany's surrender, the internment camp in Crystal City was where Werner Ulrich, standing next to his parents and baby sister, a German-American family from New York, had been confined as so-called enemy aliens. I remember standing at the fence, looking across the field, and it was wild brush. That's all I saw. And that was uh, like the end of the world. His father had been a school teacher at the camp. It was tough. My father was an angry man in the first couple of years. Angry, perhaps, like so many others who'd been rounded up and sent to internment camps, many with their children born in the U.S. Why are you here this morning? To remember the attorney. They are old and they're dying. We need to bring them peace. Which is why 50 of Van Hoy students are rehearsing what they'll say Saturday morning. And I'm remembering today Annalisa Rend. And I'm remembering Arthur Jacobs. Honoring the children once held in those internment camps. Each of my students will pay tribute to one child and remember that child. She says by doing so, her students want to draw attention to the fact past presidents have honored Italian and Japanese Americans. The very reason why they say their campaign is on behalf of German-American children. They have not been commemorated by our U.S. government. So it seems kind of an exclusion to the German-Americans. I feel compelled to, to kind of speak on their behalf. Jesse Degollado, KSAT 12 News. Remembering our children also will have former internees sharing their stories via Zoom on a big screen set up for the outdoor event. It's going to begin at 11 a.m. tomorrow morning near the main entrance to St. Mary's University on Camino Santa Maria.